Hi, my name is Lilika. Productive struggle is the process of effortful learning that leads to grit and creative problem solving. It encourages students to use a method that makes sense to them. In math, for example, some students may prefer drawing diagrams, while others may prefer breaking the numbers down into smaller or friendlier numbers. The idea of productive struggle is that you keep at a problem without giving up. And this means trying and retrying certain strategies, maybe trying different strategies, until you succeed. Okay, let's go over the science that backs productive struggle up because it actually makes a lot of sense when you look at the neuroscience behind all of it. Productive struggle works because of a certain substance in your brain called myelin. Learning involves a few parts of your brain, namely neurons, synapses, and myelin. Neurons are kind of the main part of your brain. They're kind of like the memories and they're connected to each other by these branches called axons. But the neurons don't touch each other. They are connected by these short gaps called synapses. Brain signals need to move across these synapses in order to send and retrieve information from the neurons to other parts of your brain. Learning happens when neurons are connected together by experience. When you first learn something new and that first branch between two neurons is created, that path is fairly weak. The more you retrieve information across these weak pathways, the more your brain realizes that the whole process is quite inefficient. <laughs> This is where myelin comes in. Myelin is like a insulative substance that is wrapped around those branches and that strengthen those branches. The more layers of myelin are wrapped around a branch in your brain, the faster brain signals can move across them and the stronger that branch becomes. And myelin really does make the whole process a lot more efficient. A myelin up branch can send and retrieve brain signals across it a hundred times faster than a branch with no myelin on it. Brain signals are just electric pulses sent across those axons. So fast times a hundred is very fast. <laughs> Productive struggle works because in the act, your brain can figure out which branches relating to that task need myelin to improve efficiency, strengthening those neural pathways and making future repetition of the task a lot easier. Okay, now that you know why it works, let's talk about ways you can use it in your learning. When you're doing question sets in your textbook based on a certain chapter, for example, instead of just repeating the same concept or the same type of problem over and over and over again, as textbooks usually tend to do, rather interleave those questions and do a few questions from one chapter and then a few questions from another chapter and kind of mix them about. This will be more difficult than just repeating the same type of problem over and over again, but in the long run, when faced with a random problem, your brain will be a lot better at being able to whip out the correct strategy for that problem on command. Avoid passive learning strategies such as just reading and rereading your textbook and calling it studying and like taking notes or highlighting. None of these strategies help you at all when it comes to actual memorization and understanding of a subject. Obviously you need to read the material to be able to know what it is at first, but after that, just rereading it again, science has shown that you're not really going to be able to remember it any better after reading it 17 times compared to reading it like five times. So it's not really worth your time to be reading so much. Note taking is great when it comes to needing to remind yourself of information so that you don't completely forget that it exists in the future. But note taking doesn't actually help you memorize content. That's not what it's there for. Same with highlighting. When you're highlighting sentences in your book that can help you to you know pick out the key information that you need to take notes on so that you don't forget that that information exists in the future but just highlighting the sentence isn't going to make it any easier to recall it in the future rather try learning strategies such as space repetition and active recall both these strategies i used whilst i was doing my schoolwork and having to study for exams etc etc and i found them super useful and scientifically speaking the data really just backs up that those are the best strategies you can be using right now for memorization and studying and your schooling in general though by definition implementing productive struggle into your learning will make your learning more difficult. It's difficulty that will really pay off in the long run. But that's the end of this video. Like the video if you liked it. If you really liked it, maybe subscribe. Two videos I would suggest you watching is my ones on space repetition and active recall. They're really the best learning strategies that are out there right now. I'd really highly suggest you go check them out. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. 
and good luck on your shooting journey.